Hi everyone, I'm Johnny and this is Hike and Shoot. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some information about hiking Mount Kumotori, hoping that it will help you plan your hiking trip. Mount Kumotori is the highest peak in Tokyo at 2017 meters. Tokyo and Saitama share this beautiful mountain and it is also one of the 100 famous mountains in Japan. This trip will take you to Mitsumine Shrine, one of the most popular and beautiful shrines in Japan. While this route is longer, the elevation is not so bad, but it takes two days to complete. So you can either stay at the mountain hut or set up a tent near the hut. If you're on a budget, you can stay at the emergency hut near the peak of Mount Komotori for free. Just bring your sleeping bag with you. I took this route in the winter, but I believe it will be a lot easier in other seasons. So without further ado, let's go on a hike to Mount Komotori. First, travel to Seibu Chichibu Station, then take the bus going to Mitsumine Shrine. After getting off the bus, you could visit the shrine if you want, or you could go straight directly to Mount Komotori. From Mitsumine Shrine, find the signs going to Mount Komotoriyama. The distance between Mitsumine Shrine going to Mount Komotoriyama is 10.5 kilometers. The first stop is Mount Kirimogamine, which takes an hour or so to reach. Then head to Shiraewa Goya, it takes another two hours and a half. Upon reaching it, you'll find a creepy and ruined emergency hut in the area. That's Shiraewa Goya. Don't enter it for your own safety. In my case, for some reasons, I decided to take my lunch next to it. I mean, you could too if you want. If you like eating with an eerie atmosphere, then be my guest. Alright, the next stop is Komotori Sanso. If you're going to stay at the hut, you can register and leave your heavy backpack at the hut, then go straight to the peak. Just like I did. Um, it takes 30 minutes to reach the peak from Komotori Sanso. Congratulations, you are now in the highest mountain in Tokyo. To go back to the civilization, follow the signs going to Kamosawa Basta. It will lead you to the town of Okutama, the birthplace of Tanjiro and Nezuko from the anime Kimetsu no Yaiba. Head to Mount Nanatsuishi as your first stop, then to Nanatsuishi Goya, down to Kamosawa Basta. This trail will give you wonderful scenery of Mount Fuji. Just take note that after you reach the parking lot at Kamosawa, you'll see Tanjiro and Nezuko's banner. So just keep going straight and you'll find yourself back to the trail going out of the road. Follow the signs going to the bus stop. There you go. Good luck. And I hope this information helped you in a lot of ways. Enjoy your hiking trip to Mount Komotori. I'm Johnny and this is Hike and Shoot. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.